What's on the outside is important, but what's going on inside matters more. It's about dedicated consultants with the skills and know-how to treat the most complex bowel diseases that others cannot. It's about a lifelong commitment to researching and discovering better treatments and new cures. And with a generation of world leaders at St Mark's passing on their knowledge and skills to the next, St Mark's Hospital presents six centres of excellence that are developing a wide spectrum of treatments all under one roof. The Centre for the Development of Minimally Invasive Surgery is focused on progressing new surgical and therapeutic procedures, improving equipment and expanding skills to be able to remove far smaller amounts of the bowel than is currently possible in order to excise diseased tissue and save lives. Procedures such as taser and speedboat combine surgery and endoscopy in new innovative ways to remove large and difficult shaped lesions of the bowel with faster recovery time, reduced morbidity and better long-term health outcomes. Another exciting and pioneering minimally invasive procedure that is being developed at St Mark's Hospital is FLEX. FLEX avoids the patient losing up to 30% of their bowel, including healthy tissue, that is routinely required without FLEX in order to save their life. FLEX represents a potential revolution in bowel cancer treatment. Under the leadership of an inspirational St Mark's surgeon, Mr Ian Jenkins, this centre is looking into new and groundbreaking treatments that are not routinely available in the UK for people with advanced cancer who would otherwise have limited hope of a cure and who might otherwise receive only palliative care. HIPEC research is a treatment that combines advanced surgery with hot chemotherapy, delivered at the time of open surgery to wash out the cancer. HIPEC is about giving people with advanced stage cancer access to a novel treatment that saves lives. This centre is researching the use of advanced imaging technology, as well as developing a training and accreditation programme that aims to raise the skills and accuracy of diagnosticians and so save more lives annually, both in the UK and worldwide. The Perfects programme, led by Dr David Burling and his colleagues of the radiology team at St Mark's, is a programme for ensuring safe, accurate, less invasive bowel cancer screening built on the delivery of expert national training, feedback, monitoring and accreditation of radiologists. It is for the elderly, frail, fearful patients who need a more gentle way of receiving life-saving, accurate bowel cancer screening. The Centre for the Treatment of Inflammatory Bowel Disease is carrying out a wide range of research, such as the administration of super high doses of vitamin D within a clinical setting to treat Crohn's disease. St Mark's is investigating vitamin D both as a supplement and a replacement for the battery of potent drugs which can have adverse side effects. Also, faecal transplantation to fight ulcerative colitis. This is when faeces from a person with a healthy colon are transplanted into a patient with a diseased large colon to provide them with the healthy microbes they lack. Faecal transplant has great potential to alleviate the pain of ulcerative colitis. Doctors Akbar, Arebi and Hart are leading the fight against IBD and this centre does not just treat the body, it treats the whole person. The Psychological Medicine Unit, under the leadership of psychiatrist Dr Yoram Inspector, is researching into the psychological treatment of abdominal pain by applying hypnotherapy, cognitive behavioural therapy, mindfulness and acceptance and commitment therapy. St Mark's provides the comprehensive, multidisciplinary treatment of patients for which it is highly respected within the global medical community. A crucial part of the fight against inflammatory bowel disease is intestinal regeneration. Dr Simon Gabe and his team's intestinal regeneration research involves working towards growing replacement tissue eventually, or, in the long run, a whole replacement bowel from healthy remnant cells of a person who has lost their bowel through disease. It is extremely exciting work being conducted in partnership with Northwick Park Institute for Medical Research. Finally, intestinal rehabilitation plays a vital role in the fight against IBD. The Intestinal Rehabilitation Unit at St Mark's 
treats the most sick patients who cannot absorb nutrition through eating food. The treatment provided in the Intestinal Rehabilitation Centre restores the health and vitality of people who can no longer absorb nutrition through eating. This centre is researching the application of regenerative medicine and advanced imaging to be able to more effectively treat anorectal disease while avoiding harmful side effects of current surgery such as incontinence and diarrhoea. Under the inspirational leadership of Clinical Director Professor Robin Phillips, in conjunction with Professor Paul Sibbons, a new treatment under development called CureSick aims to overcome anal fistula with a novel combination of tissue engineering and surgery. St Mark's was founded over 180 years ago by the surgeon Frederick Salmon, primarily for the purpose of treating poor people afflicted with fistula. And today, we are still advancing the treatment with the potential of new and better ways of alleviating the suffering of anal fistula. When a person like Nancy is ill, what's going on the outside is important, but it's what's going on inside that matters more. And for Nancy and tens of thousands like her, they need a place where they can get the help they need. That place is St Mark's Hospital, and the help they need is provided through the research and development of new, highly effective treatments and new cures for bowel disease. Without research into better ways of managing and curing bowel disease, St Mark's cannot continue to help more sick people. Join the fight. St Mark's Institute for Bowel Disease creating a future free from the fear of bowel disease through cutting-edge research, education and dissemination of clinical excellence worldwide.